Hey guys, today we're going to be making a how to do a flower pot wind chime. We're going to be painting them and we're going to be turning them into a wind chime. And uh, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so let's start. First, we're going to need a sponge because and we're going to be putting these on as well at the end. So, let's put them aside. And we have our colors here. We have a uh, yellow, fuchsia, glittery fuchsia, blue, magenta, and black, which got all over the place. So let's start with the um, glittery fuchsia. Just put a few dabs in it so it looks like that. And then just start dabbing. <laughs> just start dabbing. And, um, I'm gonna be covering the whole flower pot in this, so I will fast forward it. Start on the other colors, we're going to keep using this sponge and we're going to mix it. So, yeah, let me start with the blue. Okay, that's too much blue, way too much blue. Okay, let me fix this. Okay, I kind of fixed it. I am. Not really, I just did the whole the thing all the way around, and then I'm going to add a bunch of purple. So, let's get started with the purple. Okay, I fixed that and I put some purple around it and now it kind of looks like that. And uh, there's still a little orange showing, that's okay. Uh, let's add a little black. Okay, that's a lot of black. Um, might have to fix this again. Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and fix this. Maybe I can... Or maybe if I do it the whole way around, and then I just, you know, add more purple. So yeah, let's do, let's 
to fix this. Okay, it kind of fixed it. I did it all the way around. The back is a little more black. Let's see. But I'm gonna fix that later. And it doesn't all have to be exactly the same all the way around. Now, um, I think it's time to add the stars. So let me get my paintbrush. And, yeah. Ah! One second. I just got it all over. Everywhere. Well, not everywhere, but... Actually, I've got a better idea. Why don't I just take the yellow ones like this and just put them around? I think that would be better. <sighs> second, trying to open this thing. Okay. Got them. And uh, let's start putting them over. Take them out. Okay. The first one is going... I don't... I, I think I should wait for the paint to dry. But I don't think it would really matter. I mean, it would, but they're different. So they're like this. In the back. I'm just going to do it like this. I think it looks pretty good. Considering this is my first time making it. Went through a lot of trial and error trying to figure out how to make this. I'm only using one line of, uh, on the pack for the stars on this one. Because I'm using... Or I'll, I'll use a little more once I'm done this pot too. So yeah, I'm just going to put these around. And uh, come back when it's finished so you guys can see it. Okay guys, I'm finished with the stars. Let me let this dry. And then we'll, uh, we'll do this while it's drying. So yeah, let's go. I'm gonna put this somewhere. I'm thinking of doing this one Earth, since that one is the galaxy. So let me get the paints for that. I think that'll be cool. Okay, I got my green. Um, didn't do the sponge thing again. I have all the blue I can need. So let's start. Let me just put the green on my palette. I'm just using a paper plate right now because I have nothing else to use. And you can do this at home. It's really simple. They're like, these pots are like $2 at um, AC Moore or Michael's. Let's just go over there and get some. So yeah, let's get started. Um, I'm just going to be starting. <laughs> Places. Do a dab, dab, dab. And it's not going to look too good because it's me. Ah. Because I'm doing it, but whatever. See that? And then I'm going to put some on the top. Not completely over the top. Just halfway. You can't really see it. And, um, yeah, let me just go like that. Ah, it's stuck. It's stuck. Okay.
Okay, so I think it's pretty much done. Let me just um, let them dry, and then we're going to add the uh, stuff to make it a wind shine. I think it'll look pretty cool. And also, guys, you don't have to um, always use like these size joints. Oh, by the way, I finished the wind chime. I'll show you how to do it in a second. Start fell off. Okay. You don't have to use these size ones. You can use it like this and this. Or you can use it like this. Um, I'll show you how this works in a second. This is just so like, it's a wind chime, you'll see. So yeah. For this, it's basically like, Oh, I decided to put some jumps on the bottom too. You can't really see them, but you go like this. It's basically like a cowbell, and you can leave it on the wind. Don't do it for. Don't leave it out in like really bad conditions, like 20 mile per hour wind, because it's terracotta. It'll break. I think it's a cowbell. Some people think it's a wind chime. So yeah, just hang it up somewhere. Hang it up in your, in the outside on your porch, on your back porch, on the patio. Just hang it up somewhere, and um, there you have it. And I recommend using beads for um, this part to hold it in. But I use knots. Uh, you, to use the knots, you shouldn't use them because it's really hard, and we had to put a shell down there. As you can see. Oops, I think it broke it. <laughs> oh well. Um. But, yeah, um, just keep continuously knotting something for the knots. But I definitely re recommend using the uh, beads. So there you have it, your wind chime or cowbell, whatever you think it is. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and comment what you want our next video to be about. Yeah. Bye.